Hello, welcome back. Uh, this time I'm doing the calipers on off a of red, the M16 calipers twin pots. Uh, very common amongst the Fords of the eight, 70s and 80s. As you can see, I've just stripped it down. I've just washed them out in white spirit, blow the holes through. I'm just cleaning them down a little bit, just so I can uh, mask them up. So we can put them into the sand blaster and the sand blaster will fetch all this and fetch it up nice and shiny we spray them with uh vht silver uh, which is a good paint it's, it's up to 400 degrees but at the moment we just uh, i'll just get you a bit lower so you can see it going off a bit closer See what I'm doing there. Yeah, I'm just going around edge it thing again, all the rust off them. Gives them a good start. As you can see, they pick up what happens is they get hot and they become magnetic when they're hot. So they pick up all manner of crud and crap. And this is where it is. People think it's rust, it's it is some surface rust, but mainly it's uh, what you call it. It's just a, well, it attracts ionisation and particles. Um, yeah, we'll just uh, just do this to both of them. Make sure they clean down. Whatever you do, don't go in there. Just clean that out with a nice rag before I put it all back together. I shall blow it out with a compressor. But at the moment, we're going to get them prepared, ready for blasting. I'm protecting the balls. I'm going to have to cover them in uh, masking tape. So, I'm going to have to do a carburetor service on red and it's uh, 32 36 DGAV. Uh, for that I shall be using the Sonic Cleaner. So that will be a, we'll be showing the Sonic Cleaner and what it actually does. So oh, this is sticky. Covering these facings up because they have to mate to the other to its equivalent. You'll see what goes into it when I put them back together. Old school masking up, rip it with your fingers. That's way really. I'm putting three layers on because it will protect you from the blast. If, if we start to see it coming off or it thinning, then we can stop blasting to protect it. Uh, using plenty of masking tape but then again it's cheap and it doesn't last an awful long time it dries up that's why a lot of them use the uh, the blue now the blue masking tape 
We'll go, go around these in a minute, we're sure up now. <laughs> so we can get into all nooks and crannies when we blast. The same as I say, this is a good indicator when you're blasting to tell you whether it's still with you or not. And you're not blasting into the surface. Um, tricky part now, look. Anyway, now you've got a general idea, I'm going to, I'm not going to bore you with the boring bits watching this, so we'll get back in a minute when I've mashed them all up.